So, you know what I'm saying? We get in there, man. We're up in there, and it's time to jump. I'm flipping, man. I am kind of nervous. You know what I'm saying? Your heart start racing. They throw open the door, and it's like, boom. The plane shoots up maybe another two, four, like another 10 feet. I'm like, I, from what, how it felt. <laughs> and, it, and it shoots up, man. And, you know, uh, the person I'm with, man, she jumped out the plane first, man. I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm my, on my nerves. I'm like, yo, she just jumped out the plane. I got to go get her. At the same time, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Um, no. <laughs> she jumped out the plane. But then I'm like, man, you know, we, we good. We, we good, man. These guys are going to take care of us. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, uh, so as I get to the door, man, I'm seeing that man. He says, are you ready? And I'm like, no, a lot of times we're not ready for things. And I wasn't. And man, we flipped out of the side of that plane, man. And I was screaming, bro. I was yelling like crazy, man. And this experience, man, it's felt like it lasts forever. But one thing about skydiving, man, your stomach doesn't drop like a roller coaster, man. Your stomach goes everywhere, but your stomach didn't drop. So as that's happening, man, we fall out the plane, man. And this experience of falling, man, is about maybe 45 seconds. But you know, and you know, but it feels like forever. So I'm falling and I'm screaming, man. I'm screaming. Guys tapping me on the shoulder. They told us like you gotta raise your hands at a certain time. We'll tap you. I didn't even feel the dude tap me, man. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I finally figured it out after three taps, and man. So, you know, we finally do that, man. And I feel that experience, man. And it was just a rush, and it was amazing, man. It was the most amazing experience that I've ever experienced, man. Like I said, I probably would do that more than I would actually go into like fairs and like ride those rides. I probably believe would jump out of a plane again. Sounds weird, but the experiences are two completely different experiences. And man, and I, I was, man, I'm so happy when I did it um, that I was just, I couldn't believe, you know, I couldn't believe that I was doing this, man. And it, it was, it was, it was phenomenal. It was amazing um, to be able to do something, man. And, and check this out, man. When I got done, we got back, you know what I'm saying? How was it, man? It was great. It was awesome, man. You know what I'm saying? The harness was cracked on my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so I was grabbing my boys, man. And, and, but, you know, I'm saying the experience was great, man. We was doing barrel rolls. I didn't want to even do the barrel rolls, but he was like, man, come on, man. You cool. Did the barrel rolls in the air. And, you know, it wasn't the fact that it was perfect experience, but I experienced it. And I can tell my kids and I have the footage and everything to show that I did this. You know what I'm saying? I did something. And a lot of the time, man, I do a lot of this stuff because I don't have children yet, but the idea to uh, program these ideas to children that they can become and do whatever they want to, regardless of how they feel, um, is very important for me to share to the youth and to share to other individuals who do not believe that these things are able or possible. So, Man, I got to do that, man, and it was like it was amazing. It was it was some it was the most amazing thing that I did. After that happens, right? We get we get down, you know, we drive back. You know, my girl tells me, you know, you know what they say, you know, you know, I didn't want to tell you this, but a week before this happened, the place that we initially were gonna sign up to go to, somebody died. <laughs> and you talk about like, excuse me. I know you just didn't fucking tell me that shit right now. Like, <laughs> I'm about to, I just jumped out of this plane and now you're gonna tell me that the place we was gonna go to prior uh, prior to signing up to this place, somebody died, fell out the plane and died a week, a week before, right around the same time. Man, but I did it, it's over. I, you know what I'm saying, I can't take it back. And that's what you gotta look at, man. These experiences that you have, you can't take them back. They're there for you to experience, man. They may not be the best. They may not be the popular. They may not, sometimes may not even be what you want to initially experience or you want to do, but you got to go through them because they're there to help you. They, they are there for the story. Build your leg the legacy. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to tell your story. That's what you got to do. You got to tell your story on the positives and negatives. Could you imagine telling your story if you, all you ever did was positive things and you would be the boringest person in the world? Could you imagine if you're the person that always have negative things to say? No one would want to listen to you. So that's what life is about. It's not about positive. It's not about negative. It's about the experiences and the information that you take from that experience. Because sometimes, man, you're going to be put in the, your worst fears. You're going to be put in your worst fears in life, man. You're going to be put in your most worst uh, um, situations that you never want to experience, man. So you might as well go through situations very similar to those experiences in order to deal with your biggest fear. So you can at least have a fighting chance. You know what I'm saying? If we look at it this way, I always look at certain stuff like this. I look at it like this. 
The more I do, the more I add to it. So say if my fear is at 10. If I take eight steps to my fear and I finally face it head on, I've, I've minus that, I've minus it eight steps. So now my fear level's at a two. So, so now I'm not initially afraid of it, but I'm able to combat it. I might be a little bothered by it, but I'm not full-fledged, oh, I'm so scared, oh my God, what is gonna, you know, I'm not like that, man. You gotta take the minimal steps to that fear. If you put your fear, I would even say this, put your fear on a pedestal, put it on a pedestal. Let's just say, if you have a fear of something, Put it at a 10, put it at 11, and then take steps to that fear that minimizes out the fear. So, man, that's all I want to say to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope these videos are helpful. If they are, please like, share, you know, um, um, subscribe to this channel, man. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'll keep dropping content for you, man, and tell you about my life and things that you can change and, and so you can know that, man, we all are one. We're all one consciousness. We all go through these same situations and issues. No one's more special. No one's uh, going through anything greater because the rich man wants to be the poor man and the poor man wants to be the rich man. So we all want to be as one at one particular time. So, I mean, I thank y'all, man, and y'all have a good day. Peace.